And finally, our marvellous Majena. Yeah. The, the lady who hasn't slept much for the last three months, hasn't eaten much, and probably needs a lot, a lot of praise for everything she has done and for all the education that she has conducted. Thank you, Majena. Thank you, Evelyn. This is a wonderful day uh, that we parents today have a chance to actually talk. Yes. Give yourself a clap, please. Yes. I am most honoured, my dear parents, to be able to speak in the city of Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Yes. Before you audience, in the parliament of this, in the steps of this parliament, yes. where our politicians reside to produce laws that serve our nation as a democratic laws indeed, shape and shape our nation and our parents and all the things that we all stand for as protection for our children and education that today is flawed. Yeah. Yeah. We are concerned citizens. We are here today to stand up for parents' rights. Yes. We're here today to stand up for our children yes. and say stop sexualizing our children. Yes. We recognize and focus on our children. We have no boundaries today as we unite as parents, as we pull down our differences between races, religions, political beliefs, cultural differences. We strip our pride, our comfort zones, our feelings, phobias and fears. Indeed, we stand together in strength and unity to rise up into roles as parents. Parents are peaceful, loving, strengthening, building, protecting. We are the teachers. That's right. For our children, for our generations to come. Family Law Act 1975 describes parental responsibilities as authority, which by law parents have in relation to their children. Our children. Parents are fundamental and play the biggest role in stepping and shaping children's lives in all aspects of mental health, physical, social, financial and indeed spiritual life. We are their teachers. We are their teachers. We are the teachers. I am very, very emotional today. I have heard all the beautiful speakers that we have today. I don't know whether you saw me every time I hear about this, my stomach turns and I cry. I'm here for the parents who would like to come and speak but are too afraid to do so. The parents that are t t hundreds of them, thousands, and indeed all across the globe that want to say what I'm saying to you today. Right. What we're all saying, That's right. not only to the governments, but to give courage to all the other parents yeah. yes. that are sitting today at home doing other activities instead of being here. Yeah. Get up! Yeah. Stand up and rise up for your kids. Yeah. For your kids. Yeah. We are the protectors. We are the educators. Yes. We need to tell them when it is appropriate for sexual content to be introduced into their lives. Not you. I am angry. My son, my son has been affected by this last year. I was the one who's catching his tears. I'm the one 
who's standing up for him. I'm the one who is here today, standing for all your children, all of you. Not only in Australia, I'm sending this message across the world because it's not only here. Everybody else is too scared. They are afraid and too scared. When are you going to stand up for your children? When? When? What's more important? Your house, your mortgage, your cars, your jobs? What's more important? I am going to end up now because really my emotions are very high and I, I, I think I'm going to collapse, in fact, because we cannot continue to be living in this way. This is democracy, not tyranny. That's right. That's right. Stand up for parents' rights. Stand up for your children, all of you, grandchildren, future generations to come. We want to have fantastic parliamentarians, people that are going to bring our world and our nations ahead of in the future. Yes. Stand up for our children, please, all of you. I am very proud also that uh, we have a, a, a cross of speakers that are willing to stand up, stand up for the children, stand up for the nation. One of the other parties that hasn't been mentioned, and I'm, I've been asked to mention them, it's Rise Up Australia Party! Yeah. The heading says it all. We're raising up, not only as parents, as nation. We need to support each other. We need to stand up for each other. We want to be always protecting our children in every single way we can. Yeah. I want our governments to be accountable. Yeah. I want to know in writing that they have committed to change and get rid of safe schools. Yeah. There is too many tears that I have shed in the last 12 months. Every single night. It is continuing today. And if my son has been affected, so will your, all your children. They will be affected, trust me. So please, be strong. Be strong and stand up for your children. I've got a wonderful petition that I'm going to present to a wonderful lady. Rachel Cullen Jenkins, thank you. Just one more mention, we've uh, done another petition that was uh, tabled last year, just before Christmas, that was 50,000 signatures. Guess what, we don't have an answer yet. It's been due a month ago. Yeah, that'd be wrong. I don't want any deception. We are all truthful people here. We need governments, bodies to be accountable. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. God bless you. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.